What's good with you though? Shofu in this bitch like silicone and today I have an RU battle for you. Now this battle is against Mr. Nintendo Fan Man, so check him out after the battle. Um, I decided to have an RU battle because I've never had one before and um, you know most of my OU matches are very 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 lopsided. I usually win like 4-0 or 3-0 and I was getting tired of it. Um, he asked me to battle and he said what tier and I said either OU or RU. And uh, he wanted to play RU. Now, little did I know, he's actually been playing RU for a while now. And uh, this is actually my first ever RU match. So, it should be interesting. Now, he's going to leave with the chat out. I'm going to leave with my Rotom. And predicting his uh, Steelix to come in, predicting the electric type move, I'm actually going to go for the trick. But he goes for the protect. I have no idea what chat outs want to do, so I don't even I don't even know. But anyways, since I uh, go for the trick, and I know that he knows that I'm going to go for the trick probably again, I'm going to switch out, predicting him to switch out. And I go to that big munch lax, that uncha, that munch uncha, that uncha. And he goes for the switcheroo. I did not see that coming for the life of me. I f fucking forgot that uh, Arbok got switcheroo. So it takes my Evia light. Um, doesn't matter because munch lax is still powerful. Two body slams do a shit ton to the Arbok. Uh, so he's going to be forced to switch out unless he wants to die. And he goes out to a Steelix. Uh, body Slam to the face is going to paralyze him as well. And, uh, you know, the only reason I have Body Slam on my Munchlax is because, you know, the 30% Parahax chance. So I'm going to switch out knowing I can't do anything to the Steelix. I'm going to go to my Hawaiian just in case he wants to set up the rocks because I do have um, some Pokemon weak to stealth rocks. Namely Gucci. And that Gucci would be my Yan Mega, which is obviously clearly weak to stealth rocks. Now, um, predicting him to go for the, uh, I don't know what I predicted there, either Gyro Ball or Stone Edge or something. I switch back out to my Hawaiian as he switches back out to his, uh, Arbok, which is fine because I'm a physical wall. So I'm going to take this opportunity to get at my Stealth Rocks just because I know his Arbok can't really threaten me with much. He can use Switcheroo, but, um, I don't really, the only reason I have this thing on here is just to set up rocks and to use Rapid Spin. So, um, you know, one of those jobs is already done. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake now as he goes for the Sucker Punch. Pretty good plays on on his part. He knows what he's doing, and I really have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just playing Pokemon. He's playing, like, a tier that he's been playing for a while. So it's kind of weird for me. Now, um, he brings in this Chadot. He's going to go for the Protect. I'm going to go for the Toxic. Um, like I said, I have no idea what Chadots want to do. Now, I'm predicting him to switch out since I used Toxic just now. I'm actually going to go out to my big Uncha. But he actually stays in and goes for his own Toxic. And because he goes for his own Toxic, I'm going to switch out and go to my Yonkers. I'm a fucking walking paradox. No, I'm not. Threesomes with a fucking Triceratops. Anyways, so um, I'm going to go for the Aquatel predicting his Steelix to come in. But he actually brings in this fucking, what is this, Seismitoad? I can't believe I even know this thing's name. Anyways, yeah, he brings in the Seismitoad. And um, I, once again, have no idea what the fuck that thing is going to do. So I'm actually going to switch out, go to my Uncha, that Munch Munch, that Uncha. And he goes for the Rain Dance. And that's when I remembered from the VGCs, Seismitoad gets Swift Swim. So, um, I don't know. If, uh, he has leftovers too, so I wasn't expecting that. If he had Swift Swim, I would expect him to have the, uh, Damp Rock. But, uh, who am I to tell him what to use? Anyway, so he goes for the Focus Blast. Didn't even see that coming, once again. I thought he was gonna use Surf. I'm just gonna stay and go for the Body Slam. Don't get the Parahex this time. He's gonna go for the Surf now, maybe predicting me to switch out. But I actually thought that he might go for the Surf, so I just stayed in. And I'll go for the Body Slam again. Sit my fat ass down on his face. Pause. That's some, that's some face sitting. Anyways, anyways, don't Google search that. Anyways, so um, he's gonna he's gonna take me out with one more surf, and my Uncha is no more. <laughs> if I had my Evil Light, maybe. So um, what I'm gonna do now, knowing that his uh, rain is gonna wear off next turn, I'm gonna go for the fake out with my Taru, even though Taru is not supposed to be female. I don't know what happened there. So his rain wears off. Um, I thought he might want to go for the surf, but he actually just goes for rain dance again, and that's not good for me because he has a Ludicolo on his team. But whatever. I'm just going to take him out with a uh, payback, just in case he wanted to bring in his Alakazam. Uh, so yeah, that's a dead Seismitoad, and I think I'm up right now. I don't really know. I'm not playing too bad. I'm, I'm take, I was taking a lot of time with my moves, just because I had no idea what his Pokemon wanted to do. But um, now I'm going to stay in and go for the Close Combat, just in case. Uh, I don't know. I thought I might be able to live a hit from that thing. I know that thing gets Chatter, and Chatter is a decent... Um, it's a decent special attacking flying move. But uh, now I'm just going to go for the close combat as he goes for the tailwind. So like I said, no, I had no idea what the fuck that thing was going to do at all. But uh, it's out of the way now. Now I thought he would bring in his Ludicolo earlier because um, 
you know, he had the rain up and he could take advantage of it, but he decided to bring his chat on in. I don't know why. So now he's going to bring in his Alakazan. I'm going to switch the fuck out. He goes for the energy ball, predicting my switch, possibly. Um, and it's going to be a 2 hit KO. So at this point, I thought that his uh, Alakazan was choice specs because it did a lot of damage to my Rotom. Because I, I, I assume that all um, Alakazams are timid. So it was it was weird for me. So because I thought he was choice specs, I'm going to bring in my... Um, my uh, my uh, Gucci, damn, I couldn't even say his name. Now, just in case he wasn't choice specs, I decided to go for the protect as he brings in his Ludicolo, and I was so fucking close to pressing that bug buzz button instead of the protect button, but I'm an idiot, and I went for the protect just because I was very, I was being too cautious. I, I didn't know what set his Alakazam could be, so, um, you know, I thought it might be expert belt or something. I don't know. I was I didn't know what the hell was going on. So luckily for me, he doesn't have Ice Beam, and he used he used Scald, and he didn't get the burn. So I can click that Giga Drain button and give me all them souls. Yes, delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Health is so good. Yummy. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was. I take out his Ludicolo, though. So now he has this, um, his, uh, his, uh, fuck, Steelix. Damn. He's going to go for the Dragon Tail, predicting me to switch out. Now, what I want to happen here is, um, you know, I I don't know what moves his uh, his uh, Steelix has. He I've, he I've seen, uh, what have I seen? I've seen Dragon Tail. I'm not sure if I've seen Earthquake yet. But um, seeing as how much this Giga Drain does to a Steelix, I can pretty much assume that he's specially defensive in some way. Whether it be the nature or his EVs. <laughs> I know you shit your pants just now. Don't even try to lie. <laughs> Anyways, so um, <laughs> but <laughs> anyways um, yeah. So he sent some stealth rocks with his uh, Steelix. Man, man, I had to wake you guys up. Are you was boring for most people? So I had to do it. <laughs> anyway, so he sent some stealth rocks, right? And then he um, no, he sent some stealth rocks. I sent up my clay doll and I rapid spin the stealth rocks away. Now what I'm going to do now is go for the Giga Drain because I thought I was safe, but then he brings out the big Gyro Ball and I was like, no, and I live because I think in my mind, I think that I need to save my um, Yan Mega in order to kill Zalakazam because I don't know what set he is. So I am really, really, really grateful for those 68 defensive EVs I had placed on my Yan Mega because otherwise in my mind right now, I would have got my ass beat. So what I'm going to do now is switch out so I can save my Yan Mega for his Alakazam and then he kills my, um, he actually kills my Claydol with a Gyro Ball. So this is actually good because this is going to allow me to bring in Toru and uh, either kill his Alakazam or his uh, Steelix depending on what, what he does. I'll be able to kill one of them regardless. So he stays in, I take out his um, Steelix which is good because that's what I wanted him to do. Now he's on his last Pokemon which is his Alakazam. And uh, he's going to go for the energy ball. Because of the defensive drop that I have, he's going to be able to take me out. This is all fine and dandy because, like I said, in my mind, after I protect, I'll be able to outspeed his Alakazam. And uh, who's texting me right now? Anyways, I'll be able to outspeed his Alakazam and KO with the bug buzz. So I go for the protect and I get my speed boost and I'm like, yes, this is good game. But the motherfucker still outspeeds. And I almost fucking shit myself when that happened. But luckily for me, uh, I did some damage calculations and I figured out that he wouldn't be able to one hit KO my Aggron with an energy ball unless he got a critical hit. So that was a fucking close ass game. I barely won 1-0. That was, that was great. I don't know if this will make me do more RU matches, but that was a fun battle. Not gonna lie. So check out my opponent. His link is in the description. Uh, you know, I guess thumbs up if you like the battle. Uh, if you guys want to see more RU battles, leave a comment. I'll think about it, but I'm not sure if it'll ever happen. But, uh, yeah, deuces. And, uh, clean that doo-doo out of your underwear. <laughs>